Hey, this is Benny Johnson back for another iOS development tutorial, and in this tutorial I'm going to speak about delegates. Now, dele delegates are sort of a central part of iOS development. They're in pretty much everything Apple has provided for us. Table views, UI action sheets, UI picker views, and pretty much most of the stuff. So, delegates are a thing that allows us to offset work from one object to another. And this is the way it was explained to me, but I didn't get it, I didn't understand why would you want to offset some work, why wouldn't you just do it on the object essentially? Well, basically, delegates are used with everything, iOS development, in table views they're used, uh, but why would we want to use them? Well, let's look at a problem. Say for example, we've got two view controller. One is a standard view controller with a button and a label, and the other one is a table view. Um, with the standard view controller, when the button is tapped, the view controller is the table view controller is revealed, and we want to know once the user selects a cell on that table view, we want to know the text of that uh, cell, and we want to put it on the label in the other view controller. Now, how would we actually know when the user taps that cell? How would we know what that cell? text is. And this is why we have delegates. It's a way to communicate between objects and today I'm going to show you that same problem and how we solve that. So we're going to start off by creating a single view application and we're just going to call this delegate. It's going to be an iPhone application that uses automatic reference counting and storyboards. Head over to your main storyboard and we want to add a table view controller. Then we want to add some UI elements, so we're going to start off by adding a UI button, or a round rect button, whatever you want to call it, and just drag it across there, like that, and we just want to call this select department. Now we want to link a segue between this view controller and table view with this button, so I'm going to control drag that over there and set up a modal action segue. I'm going to select that segue and change the identifier up to departments segue. As simple as that. And then we want to add some labels to our view controller, so UI label. We're going to add that one here and we'll just drag that across there. Once we've done that, we're going to say department in the text, and we're going to drag another label across. We're going to expand that out to give it some room, and we'll just change the text of this label um, to a higher size so it stands out. Now we want to delete that and just keep it like that. Alright, so once you've got your label, we need to actually create an outlet for that. So we're going to control drag that over to our at interface. You can do it in .m if you want to, but just keep it simple and put it in .h. Uh, so we're just going to call this department label. Simple as that. Now switch back to the standard editor, and we need to configure our cell, our prototype cell, and you should all know how to use table views by now. If you haven't, review my table view tutorial. And we're going to set the identifier to cell, so a style of basic and identifier of cell with a capital. Now, with every view you add to your storyboard, we actually need to create a controller for that view. So, file, new, file, create a new Objective C class, and make sure its subclass is UI table view controller. We're just going to call this one departments view controller. Go ahead and create that and then switch back to your storyboard and we'll actually set that new class to handle that view. Now we want to jump over to our departments.h and this is where all the action happens. We're going to configure our table view but we're also going to configure our delegate protocol for this class. So to do that we want to start off by going at class and I'll explain what that is in a sec. And then we want to go at protocol and we give it a protocol name, and this is the delegate name. Say, for example, we've got 
the table view data source and we've also got the uh, table view delegate. And this is the same thing, it's just the name for our delegate. So we're going to call this departments delegate. As simple as that. And it's just going to um, appear to the NS object delegate. Alright, so in between the add protocol and add and you set the methods that are going to communicate between the objects that are an actual, um, that you're going to delegate these methods to. So we're going to create a void method that returns nothing and we're going to call this one did select with and in here we are actually going to pass ourselves in but we need to set a type which is going to be departments view controller which will be a pointer of a course and this is why we've got this at class here because um, the code when the compiler doesn't know that there is actually a class because we're inside ourselves so we need to actually say well there is a class called departments view controller um, and this is why our type is recognized here because if we delete that and proceed ahead with this we'll get an error so that's why we need this at class in here we're just going to call it controller and we're also going to take a parameter of department and this will be an ns string pointer and just call this department and it off with a semicolon and that's it that's our delegate uh, next we want to actually set up a property to reference this delegate and set um, our view controller as this guy's uh, delegate as to delegate the methods to this view controller. It's sort of really hard to explain uh, with all the different words and that sort of thing but um, bear with me. So we need to create a property and it's going to be non-atomic a week it's going to be a type of ID, and but it's going to be the department's delegate. So basically it's just referencing our protocol we've got there. And we're just going to call this delegate. Like that. So we've got a property to change what who the actual receiver is of this delegate protocol. Now we need to go to the .m and set up our table view. First off, we're going to create a data model for this, so non-atomic, strong, and this is going to be an NS array of departments that are going to appear in this table view. Then we want to go down to view did load and set up this department. So self dot departments equals we use the new syntax, and we'll add some objects here. So this is going to be sort of departments of a company. So we've got HR, we've got sales, we've got warehouse, right? Uh, let me see if I can think of more. Office, and maybe other. So there's some sample departments for our table view. Then we need to configure our table view, which you should all know how to do. So we're going to have one section, we're not going to have different sections. Uh, so one section, how many rows are we going to have in that section? Of course it's going to be, s it's going to be self dot um, departments dot count. And in the self row at index path, all we need to do is say cell dot text label dot text equals um, our self dot departments and then we use the new syntax to index that and we just say index path dot row. That's that's it. And then we need to go down to the did select row at index path delegate. See these table view delegates. So we need to actually implement that method. And there's an example of how you would use delegate. This table view and this view controller is actually a delegate of our table view. So in here we want to actually execute our method that we declared in our protocol so our receiver knows when that event has occurred. So we're going to go self.delegate accessing that protocol and then we just call the method which is did select with self because we want to pass ourselves in. And the 
department, well, it's going to be, well, this is a little bit more complicated. It's going to be self dot UI table view, uh, table view, sorry, uh, self for row and index path, and we'll pass in that index path. And this will return a cell that has actually been tapped. Then we need to get its text label and its text, so dot text. Finish that off with another square bracket, and that's it. That's all we code we need. So basically, this is called in the method we declared in the protocol. Did select row with self, so we will pass in our controller, and it's going to pass in the text of this cell because it's calling self dot table view, which is our table view, and it's just going to call this method self row index path, which is this one, and it's going to return a cell. And basically, we're getting that cell and we're accessing the text labels text in that. And that's how we obtain the text in that cell. Now, in the .h for the view controller, we actually need to import our departments. So, the compiler knows about this uh, class. Then we need to tell it that we are taking... You can delegate methods to this controller. And we do this by putting a um, an arrow bracket. I don't know what you'd call it, a less less than bracket or whatever. And you inside here you'd put departments delegate. So we're saying we uh, we are part of that protocol. We're going to implement that protocol and react to those messages that come to us. Then in the .m, um, we need to actually set up. We need to put that method we declared in the departments view controller which is did select row like that and we just put brackets so basically what is happening is when this is called it's going to call that method and when that method is called we're going to receive it in here instead of actually in this view controller so we're just passing methods across uh, different classes and objects so in here we need to actually do some stuff so first of which, we're going to use the controller that's passed in. So this is going to be passed into this uh, method. And what we're going to do is actually dismiss the table view. So yes, we want to animate it and completion will set to nil because we do not need to do anything. And then we want to set, set our text label to display the department that is selected. So it's going to be self.department label the text equals uh, department so that will be passed into this actual method and that's it that's all the um, code we need to write now we need to actually tell this object that uh, we are segueing segueing to uh, to actually be this product well basically what we're doing is we're setting uh, departments view controller um, delegate to ourselves, which is the view controller, so we actually receive those messages. So to do this, we just need to implement a prepare for segue, and we just need to say if uh, segue identifier is equal to oh, segue, sorry segue.identifier is equal to string and then we put in the departments segue like that then then in the if statement we need to set the protocol so we need to actually initialize the controller so department view controller will set this as vc and we're going to set it equal to the segue destination view controller. So we've got reference to the view control, the controller that's actually going to be displayed. Then vc dot delegate equals self, and that's it. That's all we need. All right, so that's all the code we need. We're just basically saying we're going to be the delegate for this department's view controller. We've said that we're going to accept. Uh, and implement the methods and messages that we're going to receive. And that's it. That's all we have to do to actually use the delegate. So I'm going to change to the simulator because you can't see my iPod. And let's hope that 
this all works. So here we've got our view controller. So I'm going to tap select department and we have our table view. I'm going to select like sales and you can see our label has actually had that cell that we selected text in it. So I'm going to select office and you can see that the selected cell translates to this label. And that's basically a nice way of using delegates. Um, and yeah, you can use them for a lot of things. That's just basically a basic example. But delegates are really useful and you will use them to do um, complex, interesting stuff. So I'll see you guys later. I hope you enjoyed that and I'll remember to subscribe.